Hi, and welcome to Irish Community Services Storytime. Today, I have a very special story for you. But before we read our story, we're going to learn another word in the Irish language. And the word we're going to learn today is the word for hair. And the Irish word for hair is gruig. Can you say it with me? Gruig. Gruig. Good job. My hair. My birthday is coming up so soon, I'll need new clothes to wear. But most of all, I need to know, how shall I style my hair? Let me do your hair, Daddy jokes. I'm getting better, I swear. Mummy rushes in the room. Daddy, don't you dare. Off we go to the hairdressers to get it done professionally. As for what style I'll choose, you'll have to wait and see. Miss Dawn has lots of magazines just so you can get a clue of the kind of hairstyle that you would like to do. Whilst I'm looking through them, my imagination starts to grow. I'll start to think of all the hairstyles I already know. Mummy has the most amazing dreadlocks, such a joy to see them swing. I like to practice plaiting them. It's my favourite thing. My sister likes to experiment. There is not a style that she won't try. Bantu knots, a high top fade, braids, she's not shy. My brothers both have cornrows with different shapes, patterns and lines. They love to show them off at school yelling, come see the best designs. Daddy says, shave all over please, when he sits in the barber's chair. His beard is shiny, curly and full, that's where he likes his hair. Uncle has waves that are so smooth, swirling all over his head. He keeps his hair brushed and neat, don't forget the do-rag before bed. Auntie's hair is shaved real short, much like the head of a lioness. She is so cool, stylish and carefree. That's how she likes it best. Baby cousin is so small, she hasn't much hair yet. Already it's begun to grow. She'll have loads soon, you can bet. Grandma's hair is short and cropped. There are many curls of grey. She said she found one years ago and invited them all to stay. Grandpa wears turbans, tie heads and scarves, his hair tucked away from his face. For Grandpa has so much hair, that's how he keeps it in place. And time to look at my friends and what style they wear. After all, I still don't know how I'll do my hair. Ryan will have plaits with bows. Her mummy can do them fast. Put a bonnet on, she says. That's how the style lasts. Michael has a mohawk. Brandon is short back and sides. They go to the barbers together and chat while the cutter glides. Nina is my best friend. What style, she asks with a pout. I want to try something new. Maybe a twist out. It's been 45 minutes, cries Miss Dawn. What will we do with your hair? Time to let Mummy decide. Don't you think that's fair? So Mummy whispers in my ear, and that's exactly when I know the hairstyle that I will wear will be my afro. I love my afro when it's out, so big and great and free. My daddy says it is my crown. It defies gravity. A creation to which none could compare. I'm so glad it's mine. I love my hair. What a cool story. I love my hair. Today, I'm wearing my hair in an afro. Tomorrow, maybe I'll do a twist set. 
What cool things can you do with your hair? Bye! We'll see you next time!